my name is Kevin Ryan. I, I work in the civil engineering uh, department, particularly in the structure side of Trinity College Dublin. And we're in the structures and vibrations laboratory today. What we have here behind us is a wind turbine blade of a 2.5 kilowatt uh, wind turbine, which is quite a small domestic wind turbine blade. And what we're trying to do here is simulate vibration in the blade to look at how it performs and see if we can detect damage in the blade that we can induce here in the laboratory. Now how we do this is we mount it on a shaking table which you can see here in the background and that shaking table can be used to input a known wind vibration that would have been recorded on an actual wind turbine or a structure in the real world. And when we put that signal into the uh, wind turbine blade we can then record the information back through the various sensors that are scattered along the length of the blade and from that we can work out how the stresses are transmitted through the blade. Uh, in particular, this sort of stress testing will allow us to develop strategies to combat the fatigue that is experienced in the wind turbine blades. And one of the things we're looking at is control strategies for controlling devices which will offset the vibration of the blade. The blade will want to vibrate at its natural frequency. And our aim is to stop it doing that by adding mass to the, to the tip of the blade or controlling other aspects of its characteristics. Wind uh, energy has been embraced significantly in Ireland and a significant amount of money has been invested by private individuals and the government. Um, the, what is happening is that as these wind turbines are being erected and put into operation, we begin to see the various problems and the challenges that are associated with them, particularly with the lifetime of the various components. And in order to address these lifetimes and extend them and reduce the maintenance intervals, which is probably the critical point, we have to invest significant funds in doing the sort of work that's here behind me to characterise the blade and see what we can do to improve the performance of the materials that we have to work with at the moment. Some of the wireless sensors that we use here that relay wirelessly to a computer base station, we have collaborations with industrial partners in Denmark um, and then we have collaborations with people who produce the blades. Now what happens is that as we encounter problems, be it with our partners encountering problems or we encounter here in the lab, there is um, a good relationship develops between the industrial side and then the educational side. And that's one of the most interesting aspects of the job in that you get to talk to people about real problems because oftentimes the educational side can lead to the, the real world being, ver being very far away. And what is really happening here is we're narrowing the gap between the education and the industrial and trying to have a situation when, when the students leave the laboratory, they're in a position to go straight into industry because they've already had contact with industrial people along, along the way. Um, and for me, that's the most exciting thing. For me, I've been in Trinity a long time now. I did a postdoctorate over in the physics department before moving to the civil engineering department. So I've seen both the students' side and the staff side to Trinity. And both sides are very, very good. Trinity is a lovely place to work. Um, and in addition to that, we are very well equipped here within this department. So it's nice to be able to come in every day, have lots of nice shiny toys to play with and to do some very, very interesting work. So that's what the Trinity experience means to me. We strive for excellence every day. And the only way you can do that is by constantly researching the newest techniques that are out there, seeing what equipment is within our capabilities to acquire and to get that acquired, set up and producing results as quickly as possible. And really, if you keep track and keep up to date with current trends, excellence will follow after that.